Have you wonder how to make a high detail AI image looks even better? From a very detailed generate image and improve that even more realistic, with just one little trick in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111, you are able to do that just like images like this. Watch till the end, you will see how amazing is this with one little tricks. So in this tutorial, we are going to use realism style checkpoint model to run this. Now I have epic realism photon and realistic vision here. These checkpoint are models that I use for most of the time. And since last time we are running the stable diffusions animations, we have talked about how to fine tune in our generated AI videos with more realistic and then play around a little bit more with individual image. And I found out this trick is very useful for generative AI image that can look even better and improve the quality of the character in an image. As we all know, the skin generated by AI is kind of like a plastic and it still feels like artificial. So let's see how we can fix this. First, I'm going to use an example image from Leonardo AI. You can use the other generative image tools like Midjourney, Blue Widow, etc. As long as it is very high quality images and it will have potential to improve those image characters skin tone. Now in the image to image tab, we are going to set sampling step 30, which is good enough already. And then I'm going to set the width and height that is the same ratio of the source image. And we can scale up the image later. So it is a matter right now if we are generate the full size of it or not. Then this is the fun part that we have to experiment the denoising strength. We are going to test between 0.3 to 0.4. By using this little tricks, the new generate image will look so amazing. Let's generate and check it out. Now look at that, the eyebrows, mouth, and even the skins looks like a real image that we taking photo of women writing on the table. Next step, we will bring it to upscaler and bring the image even better. In the extra tab, we are gonna use the upscaler model called 8X NMKD Supercale 15000 G. You can upscale the image two times, three times, or even six times if your computers can handle. Again, link of this upscaler model will be provided in the video description below. Let's wait for a few seconds for the upscaler. All right, open into another tab and let's check it out with full size. Now you see what I mean here, the hairs in the face skin is not like a plastic, is like a real human. How amazing is that? The hair tip looks so detailed. It's just like the real hair of a woman. All right, let's try another example this time. We are going to try something more colorful combinations in the image. The same setting in sampling step and CFG scale. And usually we are testing that the noising strength between 0.3 to 0.4. And we will find the sweet spot between this range for each images. Now each image will be different, so you have to try in this range and see which noising strength works the best for a specific image. Oh my goodness, look at that. Even the preview is looks better. Now as you can see the source photo, it is beautiful, but one of the problems that the face skin, it looks so plastic texture and artificial feel. And look at the outcome after applying our setting. Now I'm going to bring it to extra tab and upscale this to see the detail.
open in other tab and make it full size. And there you have it. My goodness, look at that. The little details on the skin and the wrinkles are happening. You can see the lips are even more detail. It doesn't look like a plastic artificial texture. Okay, let's try one more. This one, we are going to see we can improve the texture of the skin, especially the face and the chest part. Now you see the difference, but I want to test in other denoising strengths, see if it will be improved even more. Let's set it as 0 Yes, it looks better than the first time. And we will upscale this one and see more detail of the texture. As I play around with AI videos animation in previous videos, and after tested out the lower denoising strength looks better quality for the character, and I'm applying that into a normal image to image generation. The result is amazing. See, the texture of the face and scroll down a little bit we see the chest. The texture is like a real human photo, and even the texture on the underarm pit is amazing real. So yeah, there you have it guys, this little tricks can improve the AI image realism style. I hope this inspired you guys, and try out by yourself. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, and have a nice day.